So now in this video, we're looking at stray signals being picked up by the switch. We don't have any power applied, just an oscilloscope measuring across an open switch. And you can see when I touch the oscilloscope, uh, they're probes, but they're alligator clips. You can see it gets a lot worse. So it's uh, not just the switch picking up the stray signals, but uh, in any case, if we close the switch, we make a direct connection from one side of the oscilloscope to the other and so of course there's no voltage difference between them with a direct connection so we got that so I was uh, working on looking at something else and noticed this thought I would make a video so I thought we would try some smoothing capacitors let's begin with a one nano see if we can get that there we go one nano farad capacitor and of course these are not polarized and in this circuit we do have an alternating voltage, it's going one way uh, with, to the other, but it's only 0.1 volts and uh, per division there, so 0.2 volts total, and so really it's, it's hardly any voltage. You could test this with a polarized capacitor, but in any case, we have the capacitor there. There you can see a smoother waveform. Oh, also, if I touch the capacitor, you see it gets a whole lot worse, but it's still smooth even when I touch it, so we uh, will remove that and you can see that went out the capacitor we have that crazy it's not very smooth at all and it stays about the same but we get more voltage if if I add to it as you can see there so we will step up the capacitance see what a higher value capacitor would do 10 nanofarad right there so 10 times the capacitance and you can see we got the waveform again I add to it if I uh, touch anything and then we can every once in a while I get a big voltage spike but it, I don't seem to be able to reproduce it there you go okay when I touch the down by the bottom yeah I'm touching the metal on the uh, positive side there the negative side it doesn't really do it so that's what it was now again we close the switch it smooths out so it smoothed it out a lot I can add to it still a bit especially if I touch the metal it really adds to it now let's step up the capacitance and I didn't realize it was because I was touching that metal so we'll test it out with this one now too and so that's actually 0 0.1 I think you can see the decimal point but that's why sometimes you might see a 0 microfarad 1 is because uh, sometimes you can't see the decimal point and so they just move the units over there so we will pluck out the 10 nanofarad and 0.1 microfarad is the same as 100 nanofarad so we have a hundred times the capacitance now and now you can see it's really smooth right there let's close the switch and uh, so it's not quite as smooth as a closed switch but it's a whole lot better than it was before we were going up two divisions with without it let's I did kind of see looks like I gotta go to the positive side to get that that waveform but I can, if I go to the uh, positive side, build up a waveform there. So that's kind of interesting. But there you can see, it is really smooth. So that is also interesting. And of course, 60 hertz, that's because that's the power of the household current. It changes dir directions 60 times a second. It goes one way and then the other. 60 times a second. So it's going one way and that changes 120 times a second. But you get a full wave. 60 times a second and so that's really it for this video I did not start off wanting to uh, test this specifically but I noticed this and uh, I got nothing else to uh, make a video on at the moment so I thought I would throw this out there I think it's pretty interesting there but yeah there you can see how unsmooth it is with just a switch there and a really sensitive circuit let's say you cut off power on the positive and the negative side if we have the power going to either of them I think we won't have a problem so we'll go directly okay yeah we still do so yeah if you cut off the switch from the power supply it looks like on either side you have the potential for a stray signal like this which doesn't affect most circuits at all uh, but you may have a uh, sensitive amplifier connected to it maybe it will affect it and so this uh, capacitor right there will smooth it out if you are powering something and you have a capacitor the capacitor will just build up a uh, I thought that was a 
100 nanoamp or 100 nanofarad, same as 0.1 uh, farad. But if you do have a circuit, you close the switch, the capacitor just discharges through the switch and, and stops there. Once it's discharged, there's there's no difference. You let go of the switch and it, it builds up a quick charge. And so it really does nothing. It it pretty much just takes a rapid change in voltage with a small amount of current and absorbs that. But anything more uh, steady than that, it doesn't affect it at all. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.